what are minland and maxland attributes. Minland and maxland attributes are restriction attributes that we use to define minimum number of characters and maximum number of characters that we can enter in some input field. If we not follow values that are set with minland and maxland attributes, we'll get validation error. Well, our next and the last input field will be comment input field. Type for this one will be text. Let's rename it to comment field. And for our HTML attributes, instead of min and max, we will use min length and max length. So let's remove our values. And for now, required HTML attributes. Also, we can remove this part. So we'll use min length. And don't be confused that is not highlighted. Min length is new from HTML version 5. Let's define our max length. Okay, so for min length value, let's set 5. For max length, let's define 20. So basically, now we have restricted user need to enter some text that is in between 5 and 20 characters long. So here it is, our common field. So let's fill out our rest of the form. Okay, age 19. So let's try to submit our HTML form now. As you can see, we have successfully submitted our HTML form. And reason for this, if you not enter any value in this field, your min length and max length HTML attributes will not do validation. So if you are using min length and max length, you first need to enter some value. So we can fix this with required HTML attribute. So basically now users now will first need to enter some value in this field. So let's try that. Let's fill out the rest of the form. Gender male, donut five. 123-123-123. So now if we try to submit our HTML form, as you can see, first we will get validation error that we need to fill out this field. So now when you try to enter number of characters that are less than five, you will get validation error for our min length. Because for min length we have set five. We need to enter at least five characters. Okay, and if you try to enter any number of characters that is greater than the number that we set for our max length, as you can see, we'll be blocked on that number. In our case, we have 20 characters, so we'll be blocked on 20 character. Okay. So if you enter any number of characters that is in between 5 and 20, and now if you try to submit our HTML form, once again you will be able to submit your HTML form. As you can see, we have our common field and the value that we have entered in that input field. So here it is how minland and maxland HTML attribute work. Thanks for watching this tutorial and I hope this was helpful to you. If you like our work, please become our Patreon or simply donate our PayPal. Please remember, even a little from you means a lot for us. You can follow us on our Twitter and Instagram profiles Please don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel, because on our YouTube channel, knowledge is waiting for you.